And then the lights go out. And I'm like, who crazy? No. You should have just gotten your closet. I know you can. I can do it. We got in our bathroom things. for a second. And I was like, I'm tired of this. I'm going to bed. I just sat in the closet. The second time. The second I'm tired time, of being safe. I'm going to bed. The second. Um, what should we call it? A warning. warning? Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't get in that. the shower. And I jumped out and called him. He's like, get back in the shower. Like, I'm tired of dealing with you. Okay, yeah, we, <laughs> ours is a pain because the bathroom's real small, and then we have both our humongous dogs in there with Aww. us. And Xavier refused to go in without the dogs. Oh, yeah. Which I understand, but River was taken off, and I was just like, <laughs> okay, she was on the list. No, exactly. I was like, leave her. And he was like, I'm not going through that. He was so dramatic. I'm not going through that. So I was just I'm like, oh. Thank and then you. we sat there, and I was like, it's going away. So, anyway. Phase four, I'm all like, oh, Lord. Oh, uh, yeah, it was fun. Okay, so I was like, I just got out of the closet because I said I could. I was laying on the ground. I was like, I'm probably not going to move until it's like officially over. And what? I was like, get up, do chores. So I was like, <laughs> we're in the middle of the day watch, and I have to do chores. Oh, that's a great. I love it. Okay, so I know you love these words. No, I don't. Domain. Yeah. Vertical asymptotes, not too bad. Yeah. X intercepts. And then we're going to use that to graph over this. She's like, no, no. I don't know what that weird little extra mark is. It's an apostrophe. <laughs> I guess I hit that button when I was typing it up. My least favorite word is also graph. Oh. Whoa. I don't like any of them. Thanks. It likes you. No, it doesn't. That's why it never works with me. It's my favorite thing to do. There we go. You missed a little spot. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. You're if I did, too bad. Okay, there we go. Notice how it fills up the whole screen now. Have y'all noticed that? Mm -hmm. It didn't used to. Remember it had those black bars on the side? Did you? I don't know why. I it thought you like zoomed in. Yeah. No, I no, it's just like that way. I mean my screen looks the same. It's weird. It used to have black bars on the side. I bet you they adjusted like your your television. It used to look. No, I tried to adjust. Oh Lord, did I just break it? It used to look like that. Yes. Oh, yeah. But now it oh, has. Yeah. Now it has this presentation feature. Oh, the. It never it. used to have that. So anyways. Okay, so we're going to start with the domain. Any log, if you look at this graph here. Um, you can see that X is not going to be negative. This red line does not go past the Y axis. So to find the domain, we just set this part and we say, hey, that's got to be greater than zero. Oh, ah. look at that perfect zero. It's a circle. I know, right? Did it think it was like a circle? It did. It made it turn into a circle. So, what would we do to solve this equation? Um, <laughs> yes, what did you say, Faith? Magic? I said math. Oh, it was you, yeah, Ashley. I didn't say anything. I'm sorry. Okay, math. So, I'm going to multiply by 4 on both sides, and I get... X has to be greater than zero. Now I want to write this in the correct notation. So brackets mean what? It means it can equal that. So does it equal zero? No. no. So parentheses zero, and it's greater than zero, so it goes to what? Infinity. Infinity. You can't touch infinity. So it's a parenthesis and not a bracket because, in case you couldn't hear, Harvey, Faith said you can't touch infinity. You can't. Can't touch this. That's not how I said that. I was like, I'm not going to say that. I can't touch it. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm posting this to YouTube. I'm going to be made fun of. You're posting that to YouTube? Yeah, to YouTube and then on Google Classroom. Can you, do you have to do that? Can you not just upload it to there? Probably now. Oh. <laughs> you could show me. 
Okay, here we go. Next, vertical asymptotes. Is that the domain? That yes. Yes, I should have labeled that. Thank you very much. That is the domain. Next, vertical asymptotes. So it basically, it's the same thing, only it's when that yellow highlighted area, the x over 4, equals 0, because that's where your asymptote occurs. So again, you multiply both sides by 4. X equals 0 is your vertical asymptote. The x, -axis. x intercepts? None. Well, you have to take, yeah, you're right. I mean, the x axis is the vertical axis. Well, let's see. Vertical asymptote is what it doesn't touch. So, like, we'd put a dotted line. Remember, it's vertical. So, um, yeah. A lot of people think the other way. All right, because it's x, and that makes sense. So x-intercept, what you do is you take the equation, and you set it equal to 0. Because remember, x-intercept occurs when y equals 0. So and when f of x or whatever this was, it was f of x equals 0. So we have log base 10 of x over 4 equals 0. So it can cross the x-axis. It's not going to cross the y-axis. So what we use, what I love to use, is the circle method. You can use it as long as you have the log on the left-hand side. So it's the little 10. Yeah, it makes it, it makes it easier for me. You can do it however you want to. So it has to be? If you want to use the circle method, yes. Okay. Yep. So 10 to the 0 equals x over 4. Daniel, you said this for me earlier. What's 10 to the 0? 1. Anything to the 0 is 1. Yep. Multiply both sides by 4. There's your x-intercepts. Woohoo! We don't have uh, to find the y. Mm -hmm. There is no y-intercept. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But good question. What about horizontal asymptotes? No horizontal asymptotes. No, because look at this log up here. It, the red line is getting higher and higher and higher just slowly. Good like, question. Can you pass through the horizontal asset? Like, can you touch it? You can, occasionally. It just depends on the type of problem that you have. All right, let me add a page here. There we go. 